Ian at the front. Thank you. Hi, Harry. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. Uh, simple question. What's going wrong at Spurs right now? Because after Bayern, we had Brighton, then the break. Saturday, again, was below par. So the question everyone wants to know, what's going wrong at Spurs? Yeah, we're just not getting the results we want, obviously. Um, it's hard to, to put a finger on it and directly say what's going on. Um, the players are obviously giving everything with doing our best. Sometimes when uh, you have a run of form uh, like this, things just don't quite go your way in games and you have to try and get over them hurdles. Um, but it's important for us as a team to, to stick together and um, keep working hard, keep doing our best on the pitch. And then hopefully we can win tomorrow night to start uh, and that can kind of kick us forward to, to get on a winning run. Is that what you're seeing tomorrow night as a way to kickstart your season effectively? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, we go into every game trying to win. Uh, so it's not like we've been trying to lose and draw other games. But of course, the next one's tomorrow night. So uh, it's important for us to, to start well and uh, try and come out the blocks with loads of energy, um, with the ball, without the ball. Uh, and yeah, try and try and get ahead and obviously win the game. Harry, you mentioned the players are giving everything. A report claimed last week that the players were feeling tired and were being worked too much in training. Can we have your response to that, please? <laughs> um, yeah, there's going to be speculation when things ain't going well, when you're not winning games. People are going to look from the outside and look for excuses. And um, from our point of view, we work hard every day. Uh, we work hard since the manager's been here uh, to improve as players, to improve as a team, and, and that hasn't changed. So um, it'd be wrong for us to, to start doing more or less. We need to carry on doing what we've always done, and uh, that's work as hard as possible to, to improve, and, and we'll carry on to do that. OK, Gary, I'm just going to pass the microphone to you. It's to your right. <laughs> Hello, Harry. Um, obviously, you're still performing well and scoring. I think it's uh, 13 in 14 appearances for club and country. So does that make it all the more frustrating that maybe players around you aren't performing the way they were last season? No, I think me personally, all I want to do is win games, win games with a, with a team. So, um, yeah, from, from my point of view, it's, it's not just about scoring goals and assists, it's about holding the ball up, uh, running, pressing, doing everything I can to help the team. So, um, I've always told everyone here that I'm always looking to improve, I'm always looking to get better and uh, no matter how many I score or or assist or whatever it may be, I'm, I, I want to do more and um, the most important thing for me is that, that we get back to winning games. So um, as a team, we'll try and do that uh, and obviously being a striker, one of the leaders at the top, uh, it's, it starts from me as well. So uh, that's, that's all I can do. OK, we'll take a question from Rex over here. Harry, do you think the reason why the perception is Spurs are doing so badly is because you did so well last season and in the Champions League and getting to the final that everything else seems really poor this season? Um, you know, I think the, the standards we set over the last four or five years has, have, have been very high. We spoke about uh, maybe be, being ahead of, of where the, the plan was when the gaffer and, and myself first started. But... Um, so yeah, now when things ain't going so well, um, of course people are going to wonder why and try and put a finger on it. But um, yeah, like I said, maybe this season little things just aren't going our way that maybe in other, other years would have done. Um, so yeah, we've got to try and find a way to, to overcome that. It's not easy. We're playing in a, in a league and a Champions League full of the best teams in, in Europe, in the world. Um, and we've become one of them. So, um, yeah, we just got to find a way to, to get our level back to what it has been. Um, and all, all we can do is, is just work harder and, and try and do that on the pitch. OK, I'm going to take a question from John Southall over here. Harry, how are you finding it personally? Obviously, you're now the captain of the team. Is this the toughest period you've been through, not, not personally, but as, as a team since you've been at the club? Uh, yeah, probably I'd say so. When when you look at uh, the results, it's it's not been it's not been easy. Um, of course, every player wants to win. We want we all want to be winning games. The manager wants to be winning games, but um, it's it's another challenge. It's another challenge in in my career, in in this club's career, in in the team's career. So um, it's just about trying to overcome that. Uh, it's not going to be a straight path to 
to success. There's going to be bumps along the way, and at the moment we're at one, so we've got to uh, overcome it. OK, we're going to finish with questions from Charlie, and then we'll go with Satish at the front. So Charlie first. Just wondered how you feel your role has changed on the pitch um, this season compared with last. Uh, I don't think it's changed, to be honest. Um, I still try and do everything I've done since I first come into the team. So um, I think people like to talk when things aren't going so well. They try to try to look at certain players or individuals and wonder why maybe they're not doing this or doing that. But uh, then things have probably been happening over the, the periods of success as well. But um, yeah, there's always a, f a finer detail when things ain't going right. So from my point of view, I'm still doing the same things, working the same way, trying to improve. Uh, and that's all I, c I can do personally. OK, I'm going to finish down here with Satish. It's your microphone. Thank you. Last one for Harry here. Um, Harry, you're, well, Spurs have uh, drawn your first match in Europe and lost the second one badly. How much pressure does that put on you as players that you have to win and win convincingly tomorrow night against uh, Red Star? Well, yeah, we we went through an experience last Champions League campaign where uh, I think we had less points than, than what we do now. So uh, we know it takes a lot of effort, a lot of energy to, to get through a Champions League group. Um, so, yeah, if we can win tomorrow night, then it'll put us in a, a better position than, than last year. And, and obviously we ended up going to, to the final. So um, we have to believe, we have to, every game we play, fight, fight for each other. Uh, and then who knows what's possible. Okay, that'll be the last question for Harry. Thank you, Harry. Thank you.